Hey, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video today here on Codename Pizza. And today, for you guys, with the launch of Modern Warfare 2, I have brought to you the top five most overpowered classes currently in the game that are easy for you to access. So none of these weapon classes are going to take ages for you to unlock. So you can jump straight into a game, onto the battlefield, and destroy all of your enemies. I've tried to add quite a lot of variety into this list, not just including your typical ARs. So hopefully there's a class that will suit you inside of today's video. If you do want to stay up to date with all Call of Duty content, including Modern Warfare, for DMZ mode and also Warzone 2. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We are on the road to a million subscribers and a like on this video would help out a lot as well. So thank you very much. Let's jump straight into it. So my first pick for this list, if you are just jumping into the game, the most easy to access amazing weapon that you have access to is going to be a default class. Now I know you're thinking, hey, default classes, they're normally trash. Well, there's actually one that's incredibly overpowered right now that you can jump into and use immediately. And this is a default class that includes the Kastov 74U. It's an incredibly powerful assault rifle that you're not going to typically unlock inside of the game until much later on. So this default class is built for someone who just wants to run, gun, and get into the game and get a bunch of kills. Currently inside of the game, this weapon is incredibly OP. And like I said, if you are running this as your first class inside of any game, skill-based matchmaking is going to place you in a game with a load of people the same rank as yourself. And you having this knowledge means that you are going to absolutely destroy the competition. In my first couple of games in Modern Warfare 2, I got so many kills with this weapon and it allowed me to rank up super, super quickly. Not only that, you can actually get extra XP by using this class due to the field upgrade inside of this class being the DDoS, which you don't actually unlock until you rank 38 inside of the game. Every time you activate it, you will get points if there's some kind of enemy or enemy equipment nearby. So it allows you to rank up inside of the game much quicker. I massively recommend this class to any new players, but let's jump in if you've played the game for a little bit longer into our next class. So my absolute favorite class that I'm running right now, it might not be the most overpowered one on our list today, but by far the most one that I'm enjoying is the P90 class or inside of this game, it's called the PDSW528. This weapon with the right attachments, and yes, I am going to do attachments you unlock pretty early with this one. I don't want to go too far into the unlocking of attachments. I want you guys to be able to jump into the game, have one game with this weapon, and have these attachments that I am currently playing with. And the attachments that I'm going to place onto this PDSW is going to be the integrated reflex rail, the X10 razor comp muzzle, the 9.5 Duke 30 barrel, the hip shot L20 laser, and also the Bruin G305 Grip Wrap. Now, of course, yes, my green camo looks incredible. But that aside, this weapon is an absolute beast. You get a decent amount of ammo on this thing, and it's incredibly powerful. If you are a running gun type of player that just likes to run inside of rooms, get quick kills, this is easily the weapon that you should be running right now inside of Modern Warfare 2. You're going to catch so many people off guard, and I highly recommend it. I actually cannot recommend this weapon enough. So try out the PDSW528 and let me know inside of the comment section if this weapon works for you. Moving on to a very random choice right here, but I just wanted to throw it onto this top five list just to say that, yes, if you are a shotgun player, there is a shotgun that you can currently play with that is pretty darn decent. Now, I did go inside of the game and I originally tried to play with the Bryson 800 shotgun. And yeah, it was a little bit lackluster and I really struggled even up close to get any kills. But after that, I moved on to the Expedite 12 and without any attachments at all, I went into the game and I did really, really well. So if you are a shotgun player, I massively recommend the Expedite 12. You do not need to be a high rank to unlock this weapon. So definitely give it a go if you haven't already tried this one out. Moving on from my random pick right there, let's move over to you snipers out there. What is an easy easy sniper that you can pick up straight off the bat, play one game with, unlock a couple of attachments for, and actually get going with this sniper. And this is going to be the MCPR 300. Yes, it's the first sniper on the game that you get. And yes, the ADS speed is incredibly slow when you first get it. But after one game of just getting around 10 to 20 kills, you'll start to unlock attachments on this. And the first three attachments I unlocked allowed the ADS speed to come down dramatically. So after a few games of using this sniper, here's what I'm placing on it. Inside of our bolts, section and put it on the Cronin Smooth Bolt. I've literally just unlocked this ammunition, but I'm going with the 300 mag hollow points. To bring down the ADS speed, we're going to put on the 17.5 Orca Barrel. And once again, to bring down the ADS speed again, we want to put on the Carrillo Laz 44 V3. And finally, inside of the stock, we are going to place on the Cronin LW88 stock just to increase the walking speed and increase the sprint speed as well. 
Like I said, after that first game, it was a little bit rocky with this sniper. And unlocking those few attachments that I've just told you about, the ADS speed came down rapidly, and I was able to quick scope with this weapon. And throughout my entirety of maybe like five or six games playing with this weapon, I've only ever had one hit marker. And we are talking about kills that I've gone for across the map. I strongly recommend this sniper. And yes, quick scoping will be pretty darn good with this thing as well. The accuracy is pretty decent with no scopes as well. I managed to get a few while I was playing. So definitely check out the MCPR 300 and let me know inside the comment section once again if this one works for you. Now, even though before I said the PDSW was by far my favorite weapon that I'm enjoying at the minute, it's not my favorite class that I played with. If you want basically the meta of Warzone right now, now I know that Warzone 2 is not out yet, but remember back when Warzone had those weapons with absolutely no recoil and incredibly powerful range? This is going to be the weapon for you. And this is going to be the Hurricane. Now, I'm using the Cinder Hurricane, which comes with the premium version of the game, but you really don't need it. Just the Hurricane itself with the attachments that I'm going to say. Now, remember, before I tell you these attachments, remember that if you are a running gun type of player who just likes playing with normal SMGs, then the base Hurricane with different attachments works incredible. But for this exact build that I'm going to tell you about, for the long range, no recoil and easy kills, here are these attachments. Inside of our grip, we're going to go with the X10 grip. Moving on to our underbarrel, we're going to go with the VX pineapple. Moving on to our muzzle, we are going to go with the X10 RR40. Moving on to our barrel now, we're going to go with the FSS Cannonade 16. And then finally, inside of our stock, we're going with the Revenge 8. And you can see in the gameplay right now that I'm getting some ridiculously long-range kills with barely any recoil and pretty darn quick damage. You would assume with a muzzle on that's technically a silencer, your damage range would drop down, but it really doesn't. So this is the weapon that I'm currently telling you guys to go and play with. Try out the FSS Hurricane. You will not be disappointed with these attachments. And there you go. There's my top five overpowered weapons currently inside of Modern Warfare 2. And for absolutely all of these classes that we have been using, I've basically been using the same tactical, lethal, and perk packages for all of them. And like I said before, with the original default class, that field upgrade, the DDoS, is incredible. But it takes so long to unlock, so you can always just do what suits you best inside of field upgrades. Whether that be deployable cover, a trophy system if you're going to be playing a lot of domination, portable radar if you are a bit of a camper, and inside of that tactical slot, I normally just go flash grenade. And when I do get to level 46, I will be rocking the snapshot grenade, which comes on that default class that I originally talked about as well. Inside of my lethal slot, I always just go frag grenade, so I can basically determine whenever I can get a kill with that thing. I can cook it for as long as it needs to, and then throw it to get that kill. Obviously, depending on what type of player you are you can use proximity mines if you're going to be playing search and destroy and then finally inside of our perk package for basically the entirety of the game so far i've just been using the default hunter perk class it's pretty good it allows you to use equipment really quickly and also the tracking perk on there as well or tracker perk allows you to see enemy footprints which means the game is super easy as soon as you jump in obviously you've got the spotter perk on there as well where you can see field upgrades and kill streaks and stuff through the walls which basically means you're never going to go into a claymore or anything like that obviously you can customize these perks but straight off the but as soon as you launch Modern Warfare 2, this is what I recommend that you do inside of the preset packages. And let me know inside the comment section if any of these work for you. Once again, make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all Call of Duty content. And also make sure you leave a like on this video and support the channel. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video or the next live stream. Thank you for watching very much and peace out.